if your horse is displaying colic signs and symptoms, then of course ring your veterinarian first. You need to call your vet and um, sometimes there's quite a while before they can arrive and you can do quite a bit for the horse yourself with acupoints. Now these acupuncture points, of course, we're not putting needles in, but you can use your fingers and scratch the skin or you can use a 660 nanometer red light which will make a difference and stimulate that acupoint in 10 seconds. So there's lots you can do whilst you're waiting for the vet. If the horse is displaying quite strong symptoms, it's even a good idea to um, use your phone and take a, a movie of the horse pouring, biting its stomach, whatever it's doing, but of course don't let it hurt itself, and um, so that you can show the vet, because by working on these acupoints, we're very likely to actually um, minimise them, and the vet needs to know how bad it was to know what to do about it. Now, these acupoints can be used for any type of colic. It doesn't matter whether it's impaction colic or whatever's called the colic, it will be fine. But you still ring your veterinarian because the horse could have something far more serious, like a, a twisted bowel. So you would apply these acupoints with your fingers until you see an obvious sign that the horse is um, feeling better. Right? And that might be anything up to two minutes. If a horse likes what you're doing, it will actually stand perfectly still and keep so you continue. If it doesn't like what you're doing, it'll move away and therefore you take it off. Now, if you're using a red light, you only need to hold it on these acupoints for 10 seconds. So I'm going to show you where these points are. First two points to find are bladder 20 and 21. Put your hand on the point of the hip, slide the edge of your hand down to find the back of the last rib, separate fingers the distance of the rib, slide up either side of that last rib until you're on the back muscles. This is bladder 20 and 21. The next point is stomach 36. It's a little tricky to find, but if you face the front of the horse holding the tail, place your hand on the front of the hock and slide up until you feel a slanting bone. At the bottom of the four fingers, you will find stomach 36 slightly to the outside. Then go down the leg, the front of the leg, to the coronary band for stomach 45, which is directly at the front of the hoof. Now we're going to come to the horse's face. And if the horse has its head down a little bit, you'll see that there are two veins, one coming from the middle of the lower eye and one coming from the corner of the eye. Where those two veins meet is stomach two, very powerful point for colic. Be careful if you're using a red light not to shine the light in the horse's eye. Another point is large intestine one. It's also a ting point on the coronary band of the forelimb. Now this point is just a quarter, about a third of the way around the coronary band from the front towards the back on the inside of the front legs. CV12 is on the midline of the belly, very important point. Put your hand on the girth, make a line up the horse's side just at the back of the girth and the other hand to the point of the hip, slide your hand forward, find the last rib, the rear side of the last rib and make a line down from the very rearward point. Join those two lines on the side of the horse's belly, halfway along that line, down underneath will be CV12. Stomach 25 is either side of the umbilicus or the navel. To find that, it's always in line with the very rear of the last rib. So the same line we used before, draw down and find the navel on the midline and then come out about two inches on either side. The last point is GV1. You need to lift the horse's tail and the point is between 
the dock and the anus. These acupoints relieve pain and muscle spasm, neutralize stomach acid, relax and calm the horse. They cannot harm the horse or worsen the condition in any way.